If you're a fan of Disney and Pixar, you probably watched their recent movie Luca, a fantasy adventure movie that follows sea monster boy Luca, who discovers a surface world for the first time. Like almost every other Pixar movie since Toy Story, the makers love to leave small Easter eggs and references to a lot of things like Disney classics. In this video, we'll be talking about the things you may or may not have missed while watching Luca. First up, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. In the movie, the people of Puerto Rosso may or may not have hated sea monsters, but they absolutely loved movies about them. The town is plastered with multiple posters for movies including a fictional movie called Ataco del Monstro Marino that confuses Luca's father because the monster in the poster is an exact lookalike of his uncle Hugo. One of the real movies featured in the posters is 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, which was produced and created by Disney in 1954. It doesn't feature any shape-shifting sea monster people, but it does have a scene with a giant squid. Maybe there's some relation to the squid and Luca, but we'll never know for sure. Next, we have Pinocchio. Throughout Luca, there's several references to Italian art and culture. The movie also includes a crossover Disney Easter egg. There's a book in Giulia room by Italian author Carlo Collodi, titled The Adventures of Pinocchio, which was later adapted into the very famous Disney animated movie, Pinocchio, in 1940. In the book, Pinocchio is time and time again tricked by a pair of con artists, a cat who pretends to be blind, and a fox who pretends to be lame. On the book cover and in Luca's dream sequence that brings the book to life, the cat has an uncanny resemblance to Massimo's cat, Machiavelli. Did you notice Donald Duck? There's not just one nod to an old classic Disney character featured in Luca. Inside Giulia's room, we also see she has a Donald Duck toy leaning against the foot of her bed. Donald Duck was created by Disney in 1934, so it would have been very popular in the time when Lucas set. Perhaps Giulia relates to him because they both have strong tendencies to ramble on and to let their emotions spiral and get the best of them. There was also an Inside Out reference. It's a guarantee that people probably didn't even see this because it happened in the blink of an eye. Luca includes an Easter egg for the 2015 movie Inside Out, where during the race scene as Giulia gets on her bike and starts riding up the hill, we catch a glimpse of a woman in the corner that could be seen holding a baby all swaddled up in a a very familiar looking blanket, and the director himself, Casarosa, confirmed via Twitter that this baby is in fact intended as an Easter egg to Baby Riley from Inside Out. Next was the Luxo Ball. People at Pixar have a way with incorporating their roots into every new project they do. The same is applied to Luca. Pixar's very first CG animated project was called Luxo Jr., a two minute animated short film written, directed, and created by John Lasseter in 1986. The film shows us a titled desk lamp watching over a much smaller lamp as it plays with a bouncy ball, and then accidentally pops it by jumping on it too hard. Luxo Jr. has since become the Pixar mascot and flagship and can be seen squishing the eye in Pixar at the start of every new and old movie produced by the animation studio. The original Luxo Ball appears as a regularly recurring Easter egg in Pixar movies and can be seen during the race scene on the rooftop when Luca is overtaking other racers during the Puerto Rosso Cup. Let's be honest, as a kid from the 90s and early 2000s, we know that lamp way too well. Even the sound he made is nostalgic to so many people. And now for Luca turning red. For this reference, we go way back for a little background on how Pixar likes to be sneaky with their projects. Since the movie A Bug's Life included a small cameo from Woody in their end credit scene to tease the release of Toy Story 2, every single Pixar movie has included an Easter egg that teases the next upcoming movie from Pixar. Luca itself was teased in its predecessor movie, Soul, where a travel agency had a poster in the window about an advertisement that said, Visit Puerto Rosso. The next movie after Luca will be Turning Red, a film about a girl called May who transforms into a giant red panda. As Casarosa teases, the Easter egg for it is well hidden. In the poster for the new movie, May in red panda form is wearing a lanyard with a small pin on it that reads Four Town. This is a tie in a sleeve that can be seen around Luca in Giulia's bedroom that is from the fictional band Four Viaggi, and Viaggi is the Italian word for villages, and both occurrences use a similar color scheme with a stylized star in between the number and the word. This can't be a coincidence, but we have to admit it's impressive how they managed to incorporate new and old projects into their current ones. And then there was the famous Pizza Planet truck. It's safe to say that maybe all of the 90s kids at some point wanted to visit this place for real, to go to the arcade and grab a slice after. The infamous fast food and arcade chain Pizza Planet was one of the main locations featured in Pixar's first feature film, Toy Story. Ever since then, some version of the Pizza Planet delivery truck has been very discreetly hidden in almost every Pixar movie. Adding this Easter egg was a bit of a hassle in this movie in particular, since the Pizza Planet truck model wouldn't have existed in the 1950s. To solve this problem, the truck was reimagined as the Piaggio 8, a three-wheel delivery vehicle made by the same company that manufactures the Vespa. The Pizza Planet Ape can be seen during the last few laps of the Puerto Rosso Cup after it started to rain and was recognizable by the rocket ship on top. Another ongoing Disney Easter egg that made its way onto many Disney and Pixar movies is the number A113. This is a classroom at the California Institute of Arts, where filmmakers like Tim Burton, John Lasseter, and Brad Bird study character animation. The train ticket that Alberto hands to Luca at the end of the movie has A113 written on it. Just imagine having Tim Burton as your classmate. Who wouldn't be able to breathe? Up next is Coco's grandmother. Now this one isn't a 100% 
100% a fact, whether maybe it was just a coincidence, or maybe it was deliberately put in. In the scene where Alberto and Luca are trying to sneak into Puerto Rosso by sea, they're spotted in their underwater sea monster forms by an elderly woman on a boat. The boat is named Elena, which is also the name of Miguel's grandmother in the Pixar movie Coco. Elena is a common name both in Spanish and Italian, and that's why we're just speculating that this might be her as a young woman, who may have spent some time in the Italian Riviera, by the, and the boat had been named after her. Of course, then there was the train to Pixar, 94608. This one's a bit more of an emotional one. Near the end of the movie, as Luca is saying goodbye to everyone and his family, he gets on a train with Gina that has the number 94608 on the front engine. This is a zip code for the Pixar Animation Studios in Emeryville, California. The reason that this is just a bit teary is because Luca is leaving his old life to pursue his dreams. Now, taking Pixar into consideration, we believe a lot of animators feel the same way about maybe one day getting the chance to work with one of the best animation studios in Hollywood and being able to follow their dreams. We also had Luca's bike. This Easter egg is a nice touch to portray how the beloved character is able to make his own entry into the race near the end of the movie. Before Luca and Alberto enter the town of Puerto Rosso for the first time, the old rusty bike can be seen in the water. The director has confirmed that this bike is in fact the same one that Luca first used to enter the race when he split with a team, which explains why the bike is covered in seaweed and also dripping wet and looks green. And finally, the homage to Hayao Miyazaki. Casarosa, the director, has said that Miyazaki was another one of his main influences since the Studio Ghibli co-founder is known for his films about children diving into fictional, magical worlds. The name Porto Rosso is a deliberate nod to Miyazaki's 1992 film, Porco Rosso. Apart from that, in the film we see Luca turn into a human being to explore the human world. But Miyazaki fans can also associate the story with the film Ponyo. And that's a wrap for this video. If you have any questions about the things that you missed while watching Luca, or if you have a few things that we missed, let us know in the comment section down below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. I'll see you in the next one.